All right, so we've had these old red beans been cooking for about two and a half, three hours. Got the old ham hop. Ooh, look at him. Got them red beans. Got that old ham hop. Smoked sausage. Boy, look at here, look at here. What goes good with that? The Louisiana hot sauce. You know that's gonna be good right there. And what you got to have? That motherfucking cornbread. Let's dig in here and see what we got. Lord, that's good. Sausage ball. So let's start off. We got some smoked sausage, a couple of ham hops. We're gonna get that in here. We're gonna let that brown down a little bit. So we're gonna start off with our favorite smoked sausage and some ham hops. You can use smoked turkey necks, turkey legs, whatever you like. I like a good smoked sausage and some good old ham hops. We're going to give this a stir, let it brown down. We'll come back and show you. All right, we've got our sausage and our ham hock browned down. We're going to get that out of here. And we're going to come in there with the old Trinity. We got bell pepper, one large bell pepper, one large yellow onion. And a little bit of green onion. We're going to get that in here. We're going to let that start to saute. But this would be the perfect time to hit it with your favorite seasoning, which I hope is sausage bone seasoning. We're going to hit it with that. We're going to give it a stir. Now, once you get that sausage bone seasoning, you're gonna realize it's only 5% salt or sodium, not even salt, sodium. So we're gonna add some salt because that's the way I like to do it. I like to buy seasoning and then add salt. All right, we're gonna let that saute and we'll be right back. All right, guys, these little onions bell peppers, green onions. They've been sauteing for a little while. We're gonna add some garlic, fresh garlic, preferred on my end. Now at this point, I like to add my meat back. And I'm gonna let my meat and the onions and the sausage, more ham hop. I'm gonna let that kind of make love to each other in here for a little while. And we're gonna cook that down a little bit longer. Look at that, boy, that don't look good right there. And you can put that on a plate right now. We're gonna let that cook down for a little bit more. And then we're gonna continue on. All right, guys, we got the old Trinity and our sausage and our ham hock cooking down, looking, looking almost as good as my wife. We got this old bean, they been soaking for about 12 to 8 hours. We're going to dump them. We're going to wash them like four or five times. We're going to wash them more than I wash myself today. And then we got us some homemade chicken stock. This is just something I like to put in there. Put that old homemade chicken stock in there. And then we're going to add a little bit more water. Y'all can see we ain't got enough. We ain't covered the beans up. We got an old hot water from the fireplace. We're gonna add about like that. We're gonna give that a stir. Boy, look at here, look at him. Y'all know what we gotta have with these beans. I ain't gonna one thing go good with these beans. And I ain't gonna cave just yet. But I can promise you, we gonna have it. Put the lid on that. We're gonna let that simmer for about two and a half hours. All right, guys. So we've been 
we've been hammering these beans for a little while not very long probably about 15 minutes we're going to throw a couple of bay leaves in there about five we're going to let them soak get some of that flavor and again we're going to cook them for about another two hours let's see what happens all right so it's been been a little while let's check these old red beans out we got them cooking boy look at the ham hawking there had about another hour it's gonna break down that's gonna come together boy that's gonna be some good eating right there we'll be back check on them in a little while 